Welcome. We're going to talk today about something that you might not have um, talked a lot about growing up. I know in my household, um, when I grew up as a child, we didn't talk about how many bowel movements we had a day or some people a week. <laughs> um, we just didn't talk about it. We didn't talk um, about, um, yeah, intestinal cleansing. <laughs> so I wanna talk to you about the benefits because oh my gosh, it's so important, you guys. I got introduced to it at a young age, thank goodness. And it was um, because I was going to an iridologist do you know what an iridologist is? They read the iris of your eye and they can tell so many different things about your health through the iris of your eye. And um, it sounds kind of crazy, right? But I got convinced when the man that was looking into my eye started telling me things like, you know, I had no medical intake when I walked in um, and I'm sitting there and he's looking into my iris and saying, oh, what happened to your left arm, like around your elbow? And I'm looking at my arm like, really? <laughs> I fractured my arm seven years ago. He's looking into my eye and he's asking me what happened to my arm. And um, so that caught my attention. Then he told me I had a very congested lymphatic system. And that was a big concern because my father passed away when I was two years old. He was only 30. And so I just went, oh, <laughs> I'm 19 and I have a congested lymphatic system? That sounds scary. <clears throat> so I wanted to do some research and learn more about it. And that was kind of what started my health journey. I was already interested in learning about holistic healing, but that really pushed me forward to learn more. And um, so I had heard things like 90% um, of our illnesses come from toxins in the colon and death begins in the colon. And I'm like, oh my gosh, sounds really scary, right? <laughs> so I came across a man, I was living in Southern California and I came across a gentleman, Bernard Jensen, and he was an iridologist. He had vast amount of information on intestinal cleansing and the colon. And I bought his books and, and studied. And it's so interesting because many years later, as I got into Young Living, I got this book. If you guys don't have this book, check this out. But this is an amazing book. And on page nine, it talks about Gary's early years of going to naturopathic school and he was in Southern California and he was studying with Bernard Jensen <laughs> and I just thought wow that's amazing and the which I did not know in this book it says the first three products that Gary made was ICP, Comfort Tone, and Juvitone. And so I thought that was super fascinating. Um, and what I have found is you can take all the supplements in the world for conditions you have or for optimum health, um, preventive health, but if you're not assimilating those supplements, they're going right through you. And um, I was working with a colon therapist again many years ago when I was in Southern California. And they were telling me that in the colonic machine, you could see tablets and supplements going right through the colonic machine. People weren't assimilating them. So you're wasting your money. You're putting you know, all these supplements in your body and it's going right through. So it really made me realize the key to optimum health is working with the colon and digestion first then you add your supplements. Um, and if you guys didn't hear uh, Katie Harris's talk last Friday on enzymes, go check that out because that is key. We've got to work on our digestion to assimilate our intake. <clears throat> if it's food, supplements, no matter what, 
So enzymes are super important. So that was kind of my journey into what got me interested in colon health. And what is the colon anyway? <laughs> so it's like five, five and a half feet long and it's our sewer system. It's what pushes our waste out of our body. And if that gets stopped up, think of it as a pipe under your sink. And if those pipes get backed up, what happens? The waste comes up, 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 and all of a sudden it's bubbling up in your sink, right? So the same thing happens in our body. We get all this sludge in there from our diet, environmental, I mean, we live in a toxic world, you guys. <laughs> and we have a lot of sludge in our intestinal tract. And so if that backs up, you know, you can even be having bowel movements every day and it's still starting to back up and um, it gets into the organs. Then your organs aren't working properly. It gets into the stomach, messes up your digest digestion. All of a sudden your stomach's extended and you're having gas and you know, constipation, all these things start happening and it just keeps going up. You're burping up when you eat. And I mean, so we really have to think about it and start working on detoxifying this sludge in our intestinal tract. So um, let's see, I've got a few notes here. Um, so an unclean, weak, properly functioning colon is a breeding ground for disease. And if you think about it, um, people that have diverticulitis and different colon issues, you know, it's a pocket that's filling up with waste. And then it's the perfect breeding ground and viruses, all kinds of things can breed in the, the colon. So by keeping it clean, you are going to have a lot better health, optimum health. It's something that I started my kids with when they were young. It was always intestinal cleanse, intestinal cleanse, especially the beginning of school, um, when things were going around, you know, they'd come home and say, oh, so many kids were out of class today because of this or that. You know, you gotta, you gotta cleanse. And it's something that we do on a regular basis. So I'm so grateful that Gary learned that at a early age too. And the first product was infused with essential oils into a powder, our ICP. And it's like the perfect product to take to help sweep the colon. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna be able to sweep it clean on a daily basis. So this is a product you can take every day. And I know recently they came out with ICP daily but I'm not a big fan of it. It has sweetener in it and flavors and that. But for most people, it's the way to go because it tastes good. And I'm one that I've used herbs and crazy concoctions um, for most of my life. And I'm not worried about the taste. If I know it's good for me, I'll take it, <laughs> no matter how bad it tastes. So I stick with the original formula, the ICP, and, um, it's something that you want to start off taking daily. I mean, I would take it three times a day. And you take it before meals on an empty stomach. And it's very important to take it on an empty stomach because it swells, it has psyllium in it. And so it's going to swell. And that's what helps too with the peristalsis. Now the peristalsis is a wave-like motion that we get in our intestinal wall and if our peristalsis muscles aren't working well, they get sluggish and then you get more constipation as well. So it's really important to have um, good peristalsis and the ICP and Comfort Tone um, will really help with that. So those are two products that I highly recommend you guys order right away if you haven't tried them and get on a regular program with them. It has to be consistent because when you think of the years of putting waste in your body, I mean, some of the facts, the average person has between seven and 10 pounds of old fecal matter in their colon. I mean, really disgusting, right? <laughs> and that's even having bowel movements every day. And then um, 
I already mentioned that accumulated waste is a breeding ground and it's also a breeding ground for parasites and you know viruses bacteria all kinds of things so we don't want it sitting in there um, and over time you know the toxins build up and the average person is exposed to 123 toxic chemicals every day in our food our water air personal care products um, so it's really important to be on a program of intestinal cleansing regularly to sweep these toxins out. And if you are doing traveling at any point, it's the thing, most important thing you wanna take with you because you're exposed to more when you're traveling, more toxins and more environmental bacteria and viruses and that. So it's always something I've used a lot of traveling. Um, I don't leave home without my ICP <laughs> and Comfort Tone. Comfort Tone's a really good one to take traveling. So um, how can we, well, going back to using ICP, so we want to take it on an empty stomach for sure. So you get up in the morning and it can be like the first thing you do. And I mix it in a really small jar, like a little jam jar or something that's really small. And I don't use as much as they recommend on the bottle. Um, I always recommend starting off slow. I think slow is better. Um, so maybe take a half a teaspoon or a full teaspoon and just put a little bit of water or if you don't like the taste, you can use juice into a jar. Shake it up because it has psyllium in it so it's going to swell and turn into gel <laughs> and it's not fun to drink when it's thick and glucky. So just shake it up in a small jar, gulp it down, and then it's super important to drink a lot of water. So you're going to drink at least eight ounces, if not more, of water to flush it down. So that's super important. Um, and I would do it three times a day before each meal. And especially if you um, are concerned about your weight and are interested in maybe shedding a few pounds, it can really help taking it before meals. There's many reasons why it's helpful for um, weight loss. And one, that because it swells and because you're drinking so much water before your meal, that you eat less because you know, you're full inside from, from the ICP. So um, really important to take on an empty stomach. So if you don't wanna take it before each meal, you can always take it in the morning first thing and then again before you retire at night. So I rather take it before dinner because if I take it before bed, drinking all that water, I'm going, getting up to go to the bathroom too many times. So I like doing it before dinner. Like when I start making dinner, I'll take my intestinal cleanse and that way, you know, it's a good half hour, hour before my meal. So that's super important. And another thing I have read for best results is to start with Comfort Tone. And Comfort Tone is tablet form and it has herbs in it. It does have a little bit of Cascara Sagrada, um, which is an herb that can be habit forming. And so it's something that you wouldn't want to take every day um, to where I think the ICP is fine to take every day. But the Comfort Tone um, has psyllium in it as well. So it's really good to take it before. So maybe start with a comfort tone for three to five days and get your bowels moving really well and get you know things loosened up a little bit. And that's what it will do. It will help loosen up. So it's good if you are constipated to take the comfort tone and then start the ICP. And comfort tone, you're gonna have to regulate it according to your body. Um, I would not start off with more than one a couple times a day and then you can always increase to get the you know um, desired amount you want but it definitely will start moving things through and so you I don't want you to get too loose and be running to the bathroom so I would start off slow I always feel slow is better and let the body slowly get used to a new program instead of doing a larger amount and ah, have it be a shock to the system. <laughs> so that's just my personal preference and I'm no doctor, so <laughs> if 
you just have to go with how you feel. Um, so the thing is, um, like, how do we get all these toxins in our body and building up in the colon? So I've talked about the environment and, you know, how we're constantly getting toxins, but we don't want to keep increasing that. So it's so important, like we know, we have the perfect um, company to start ditching and switching and getting into more natural, organic everything in our life, and that's going to help a lot. But you know, some simple things like breathing, diaphragmic breathing is so important before you eat, relaxing before you eat, sitting down. Um, you know, a lot of people are eating on the run and that is not good. You want to think about your digestion. What is the best for my body to digest this meal? So um, drinking water 20 to 30 minutes or juice, liquid, before your meal is optimum for digestion and not having very cold, you know, icy drinks because that can cramp the stomach muscles and then when you're eating, it's harder for the body to digest them. So uh, these are things to think about and chewing. I mean, most people don't chew their food. You need to chew for a long time. So these are simple measures that we just need to be conscious of our breath and how long we're chewing our food and relaxing, meditating maybe a few minutes before your meal and just slowing down and giving gratitude for the food you're eating. And this will make a huge difference in your digestion. And again, having our enzymes. We have amazing enzymes. We have an array of enzymes. So you can pick, do your research, look in your books um, and figure out what enzyme is best for you. I use the Detoxime and the Allerzyme and those are my favorites. Um, so take the enzymes with your meals and that will make a huge huge difference in your digestion because it's all about optimum health. It's all about prevention. And if we can prevent illness and prevent things from happening in the future, I mean, to me, that's the key to optimum health. So that's kind of where I've been at for most of my life is always trying to be a step ahead and what can I do to avoid, um, you know, being below the wellness line. I don't want to go there. I like to stay above the wellness line. So there's a lot of products we have with Young Living that will aid in optimum colon health. And Life 9 is crucial. And that's probiotics. So that's going to feed all the good bacteria into the, the gut and keep the digestion um, well. Because you know, we gotta remember everything going in, we want it to digest, get all the nutrients and goodness out of it, and then come out as waste. We don't want it sticking along the way. So think about the food you eat. Your white breads and, you know, sticky gooey desserts and things like that, sugar, those are the culprits that really are adding to toxins in the colon. So when you start an intestinal cleanse program, if you haven't, you know, done one before, I would religiously do it for months, every single day. And think about your diet, maybe eat a little cleaner, try to put more fruit and vegetables into the diet and whole grains and not, you know, the white breads and white desserts and things like that where you're getting um, less fiber. Um, so those are things to think about and that will help so you can eliminate more and not be clogging up. Um, Ninja Red, of course, that's always, everybody should be drinking Ninja Red. So um, that's another good one to help with the colon, our enzymes, which I talked about. Again, if you haven't listened to Katie Harris Friday, listen to her enzyme talk. Digest is always essential if you're having any kind of discomfort in, this, in the stomach. Um, and then of course our Juva products, all the 
liver and that type of support um, is always beneficial as well. So we have a lot of products to support that area of the body, but um, like Gary and many, many uh, natural health um, professionals say is start with the intestinal cleanse. You know, that's, that's the beginning. And start there, get things cleaned out so you can absorb, add lots of enzymes, and get the body working so it's going to assimilate our intake. So um, I think that's it, you guys. So if you have any questions, be sure and comment, message here, and I will be reading through them. I'm really bad at doing it when I'm talking, so I'm not even gonna go there <laughs> till I turn this off. And you can always message me privately through Facebook too. So it's Sharon Pease, and um, it was great having you guys listen today. And be sure and let me know if you have any questions because I just think it's so important that we address our internal um, intestinal tract and, and colon health and really work on it to, to have a more vibrant life, right? All right, you guys, take care. Best of health to you.